Okay, this is a video about how to prepare drawings uh, to be laser cut. Um, and this, I think, works for any of the available laser cutters in LSBU, and I'm using Inventor 2017. It should be pretty similar in 2018, I think. Um, I'm not going to make a very big drawing, but I'm just going to um, put in a couple of parts so that we can see how that bit works. Uh, sorry, I didn't want to do that. Um, close that. I, I want to place the part in here, uh, like so. One thing just to note, that's come in at 1 to 2. It's probably best if we get everything at 1 to 1 in this particular drawing. And then I'm going to park that up in a corner somewhere. I'll say OK. Uh, then I'm going to put in another item. This will be part two. Um, and ideally, I'd kind of like to rotate that by 45 degrees. I don't know if I'm able to do that or not. Um, I can't see how to do that at the moment. So instead, I'm just going to live with it as it is. Uh, I could almost try and park it in that gap there. And in fact, you could shrink it down. Well, you see the option. Um, so I'll place that there and then click OK. And then we want to keep on going, part three. Um, that's come in at one to one, that's fine. And one thing that I want to do is to get everything reasonably well packed. Um, and you can spend some time when you've finished moving everything around. So let's just say I was printing those, or laser cutting those three parts. How would I go on and take them to be ready for uh, being laser cut? Well, I can do a couple of things. First of all, I can uh, delete the um, information box down there. That's not going to be laser cut. And I can delete the default border. So now we've just got a nice sheet with the actual outlines that we want the laser cutter to do. There's no extraneous information there. And then the next thing I'm going to do is say save as um, and uh, I'll find somewhere where I can put this uh, me arm and I'm going to save it as at the moment there are only two options to save it as. Let's just go back I'm just going to save it properly first. Again we'll put it in um, engineering design exercises me arm and I'll save it as drawing for laser cutter that'll do fine now I'm going to say file save copy as and that's an important thing because now I get all these different options not just one um, so save copy as is really uh, an important thing to do and then from save as type, I'm going to choose AutoCAD DWG files. I'm going to go to options and I'm going to make this an AutoCAD 2004 drawing. And then I think I can finish and save. And if I just go and look in the folder where I've just saved it, it's this one here. It's saved as an AutoCAD drawing and if you have that particular type of format and if your part your drawing file looks something like that then I believe that will be um, all right to take to the laser cutter and um, that's what you should aim to take on a memory stick to your session with Tony. You should probably also take um, the original part files and a complete drawing file as well so that you've got everything that might be needed but I think that version we've just saved, that 2004 version, is the file that we'll end up using. 